Hello tadpoles, I hope you're having a very nice day so far. If you're not, I hope it improves for you. Uh, I'm back from my trip now, as you can see. Uh, so all the rest of my videos for the, like, the next couple of months maybe should be in here. A couple of weeks ago, I watched Black Adam in cinemas, I think the day after it came out, uh, with my grandma, and I wasn't sure what to think going into it. On one hand, I like Dwayne Johnson, I think he's pretty cool, uh, but on the other hand, I haven't really been a big fan of the other DC movies, um, like, Justice League was a bit of a mess, and, um, like, Batman vs Superman, that had some cool things, but it just didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, but Black Adam was actually better than I expected. Um, I was kind of looking forward to seeing it. Uh, but like I said, like, just before, wasn't really sure what to think. Anyway, so it's two hours and five minutes. It's pretty much just an excuse to have Dwayne Johnson fly around and punch people. The story isn't too complex, and you can, I think you can kind of tell that the uh, screenwriters just thought it was a good idea to have Dwayne Johnson punch people. Uh, so, there is a lot of action in it, and the action is pretty cool. Like, there's, there's lots of cool set pieces in the action. Uh, there's, like, a few really, really cool slow-mo, uh, bits, uh, with Dwayne Johnson, like, flying around, and it's really cool. Um... But it's not too graphic, like, to keep it the movie at the lower rating. Uh, but they kind of rush through the uh, the earlier plot points uh, to get to that, like, those action scenes. Um, so you kind of, like, miss a few bits and the characters come off as a bit uncaring towards each other. And that's a bit weird. Um, the bad guy in it is definitely cool looking towards the end. But it's just, like, a kind of, like, a guy for most of it. And he's not, like, that big or intimidating. He doesn't have any cool powers or anything. Especially compared to uh, Black Adam, who was, like, quadruple his size. Uh, so, yeah, he's not that great. He doesn't... He he does have, like, good motivation, I guess. But they it doesn't come off as well, because you don't really know him as much. But he's a nice, punchable guy. Um... And he does get, like, a power-up towards the ends, but it's just kind of like the, the good old DC CGI monstrosity that we've got used to. Um, but it was still fun to watch. So, like I said before, with the story uh, not being too complex, they do try to have a twist in it. And it's, like, a decent twist, but you can spot it really early on if you have, like, uh, if you, like, pay attention, like, to, like, the sounds and stuff. And, like, the people talking, you can, like, spot the twist early. But if you don't spot it, it's, it, it's a good twist, I guess. The side characters are definitely fun to enjoy, like, the superhero ones. Uh, they just kind of come out of nowhere. Like, what, what were they called? The Justice Society, yeah. So they just kind of come out of nowhere. Um, like, where were they dur during, like, the Justice League and all that? Uh, stuff going on there like they should have been there to help I feel like they just wanted to get rid of like they were just wanted to be done and dusted with those days of DC and move on to something new and like I'll get to something else a bit later kind of related to that uh, but for now I'll just keep going with this uh, so uh, the side characters are definitely like really cool and enjoyable to watch but you don't get invested in them because you don't really spend as much time with them like, they just kind of have, like, a few, um, like, big character, like, defining character traits, like, the that define them. Like, Pierce Brosman's character, uh, I think it's called Dr. Fate, is, like, a wise, uh, self-sacrificing guy, uh, who's kind of, like, haunted by his past and stuff. The, uh, Hawkman, I think his name is, he's just kind of, like, a, like a... Uh, like a tough guy who tries to be, um, like, tries to be on the good side of things. Adam Smasher is kind of just, like, a big idiot. That's the nice word, that's, like, that's what he is. He's portrayed as not all that intelligent, 
but he is uh, like a fun thing to watch. Then the girl, the the wind girl. She was probably my least favorite side character. Not anything to do with the character or anything. Just whenever she did like a, whenever she did anything, pretty much, it would just go into slow mo, and it would just be the weirdest thing, like her spinning around. And you just have like a 5 to 10 second shot of her spinning in slow-mo. And it was just really weird. Especially in like the middle of like a relatively cool battle scene. But other than that, she was nice. Um, the family in it, you... Like they're just kind of introduced really early on. And they come off a bit weird. Like the mum just lets her son like sneak around into places and stuff. And then she's like, oh no, go, can you go save him? Save him now. Do it. Uh, so that was a bit weird. Uh, the, the son is like a big uh, DC fanatic. So he is very interested in uh, Black Adam when they meet. Speaking of that, when they do meet, it's it's weird. Like, Black Adam doesn't really... He is the fish out of water there. Like, he do, he shouldn't know anything that's happening. Because he's been, like, asleep for, like, 5,000 years. So, it's... It, like, he shouldn't know anything. But he's just, like, perfectly comfortable flying around and stuff. He just has, like, one brief flight. And then for the rest of the movie, he's just fine. Just completely fine. It's it's a bit weird. Like, they should have had him, like, picking up, like, a phone or something. Like huh? But no, it's not, it's not really that. Um, so that was... Like, definitely weird. You can definitely, like, with bits like that, you can tell they just wanted to have Dwayne Johnson punch people. Another complaint I do have with it is that he's not really a bad guy. Like, he's portrayed as, like, a bad guy who's trying to become good in, like, the trailers and stuff for it. But he's not really. He's just a guy who has killed some people. And, like, in a superhero movie where, like, they're fighting a bunch of bad people, I don't think that's, like, a bad thing necessarily so I think they could have like toned up the him being evil uh like aspect a lot more maybe even a little bit more still would have been better um so back to what I was saying before about DC wanting to being done and dusted with the Justice League uh so the post credit I'll spoil it because it's uh like it's nothing is gonna come of it so Henry Cavill shows up at the end in like Dwayne Johnson and him kind of like tease a big fight between them but then that's it it doesn't make any sense at all because recently like a couple of days ago uh the news broke that Henry Cavill had been like kicked out of playing Superman and like Wonder Woman 3 was cancelled uh, so it, it, there's like there was the other Batman movie that got cancelled as well the Batgirl thing I think the Flash one's still coming out, but they're really trying to move on from that era of the DC thing, but I just think it was really weird to have Henry Cavill show up if they were planning on kicking him from it. Uh, so that's my only other complaint, really. Um, overall, I think it was pretty enjoyable to watch. It's just kind of those, one of those, like, turn your brain off and watch the muscly people punch things for two hours. Like, it was just one of those movies. Um, I give it a 60 out of 75 grapes on a bunch. Alright, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye now.